Welcome to Guangzhou, one of China's most vibrant cities, where ancient traditions meet modern marvels. From stunning architecture to rich cultural heritage, let's explore the six must-visit places in this thousand metropolis. Number one, Canton Tower. Our first stop is the iconic Canton Tower. Standing at 600 meters, it's one of the tallest structures in the world. You can enjoy a breathtaking 360 degree view of Guangzhou from the observation deck or even experience the world's highest vertical drop ride at the top. You could take a Metro Line 3 and Line 8 p.m. then get off at Canton Tower Metro Station. The price starts from 150 yuan goes up to over 1000 yuan for combo. You can experience 450 meter lookout, 106 floor dining, 480 meter sky drop, Alpha Sky Adventure Park and so on. If you enjoy Neo Light and Cruise, then do not miss Pearl River Cruise. As you glide along the river, you will be treated to stunning views of Guangzhou's illuminated skyline, including landmarks like Canton Tower. The best time for this cruise, definitely at night, when the city lights create a magical reflection on the water. There are east and west two routes for selection. They offer drastically different views of Pearl River. Three ports in the east route, Canton Tower Wolf, Haixin Sa Wolf, and Zhong Da Wolf. Five ports in the west route, Tianzi Wolf, Da Sha Tou Wolf, Xi Ti Wolf, Fang Chun Wolf, and Provincial Head Wolf. Different wolf offers different cruise selection and operating time. One trip takes about an hour and cruises set sail every 20 to 40 minutes. The price ranges from 98 yuan to over 1000 yuan depending on the sitting and type of cruise. Chen Clan Ancestral Hall For a step back in time, visit the Chen Clan Ancestral Hall. This beautifully preserved Qin Dynasty structure was once an academy for the Chen family. Now it serves as a folk art museum showcasing exquisite wood carvings, pottery, and paintings. The Chen Clan Ancestral Hall complex exemplifies traditional Chinese architecture and decoration style in the late 19th century. The most extinguished feature, the 11 pottery rich crest, could be found on nine halls. This building complex was added in the list of cultural relics of national importance under the protection of the state in 1988. To get there, Metro Line 1 and 8 at Chen Ancestral Hall Station. Door price is 68 yuan. You could add 300 yuan for a private two guide for up to eight persons. Yueshu Park. Yueshu Park is Guangzhou's largest urban park offering serene green spaces and cultural landmarks. The five rand statue is a symbol of the city's legend and foundation. Guangzhou is also called Yangchen in Chinese, which means a rand city. Zhenhai Tower, built originally by Chinese Marcus Zhu in the late 14th century to subdue an omen that symbolizing a newborn emperor. This tower was destroyed five times due to civil war and rebuilt five times. Now it is Guangzhou Museum housing relics and historical documents over hundreds, even thousands of years ago. There are also Square Cannon Site, Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall and other cultural landmarks in the park. It's a great place to take a relaxing walk or watch locals practicing Tai Chi. To get there, Metro Line 2, Yueshou Park Station, Beijing Road Pedestrian Street. No trip to Guangzhou is complete without indulging in the local food. Known as the birthplace of Cantonese cuisine, Guangzhou is famous for its dim sum, seafood and street food. For the food monster and shopping lovers, Beijing Road is the must visit. Don't forget to look down through the glass covered sections to see ancient stone paths beneath your feet. To get there, Metro from South Starting Point Beijing Road Station on Line 6, from North Western Starting Point Gongyuan Tian Station on Line 2. Qinmelong Tourist Resort. Looking for some family fun? Yeah. 
Shimalong Tourist Resort is a massive entertainment complex with something for everyone. Currently consisting of one theme park, a water park, one circus venue, one safari park, one bird park, and three hotels. The theme park, Chimalong Paradise. Chimalong Paradise is the resort's the flagship park. It's one of the China's largest and the most popular theme parks, including 10 inversion roller coaster, dive coaster, rocket roller coaster, and so on. There are also kids section and themed area. Chimalong Water Park. Chimalong Water Park is the most visited water park in the world. Chimalong Water Park has a wide variety of thrilling water slides for adrenaline junkies, including some of the tallest and farthest in the world. Wave Pool. The park features large wave pools, including some that simulate ocean waves, making it a great place for visitors who enjoy swimming. Lazy River. For a more relaxing experience, the park offers a lazy river, children's play area. There are dedicated areas for younger visitors with smaller slides and splash zones designed for kids, music and live shows during peak season as well. Trimelong Circus. It features a mix of international circus acts, animal performances, acrobatics and theatrical productions, offering an unforgettable entertainment experience for visitors of all ages. Trimelong Safari Park, one of the largest and the most famous wildlife theme park in the world. It's a part of the larger Trimelong Tourist Resort and is known for offering visitors an up-close experience with a wide variety of animals in a nature and well-maintained setting. It includes self-drive safari, sky ramp, animal shows and encounters. All parks except the bird park can get off at Han Xi Changlong Station on Line 3 and Line 7. The bird park can get off at Chen Gang Station on Line 22, then take a DD ride or enjoy quite a bit of long walk. So for the price, it varied from season to season. Theme park usually costs about 250 for adult, 175 for children. Water park 280 for adult and 159 yuan for children. Circus 350 yuan for adult, 245 for children. The safari park. 300 yuan for adult, 210 for children. The bird park, 100 yuan for adult, 70 for children. Guangzhou truly offers something for every traveler. History, culture, and modern attractions all in one. Whether you are here to explore its ancient structures or taking its futuristic skyline, you are sure to live with unforgettable memories. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below on your favorite place in Guangzhou. See you next time.